In 2018, a groundbreaking DNA study authored by over 92 scholars worldwide changed the face of Indian history. The following clip summarizes the findings. Then, around 2000 BC, a major upheaval happened in the region. The steppe pastoralists, or the people we know as the Aryans, moved down towards the subcontinent. Here, they encountered the Indus Valley people. Two things happened after this. First, a section of the Indus Valley people moved further south into the subcontinent, mixing again with the South Asian hunter-gatherers to create what is known as Ancestral South Indians. Meanwhile, one section of the Indus Valley civilization remained there and mixed with the steppe pastoralists to form another distinct community known as the Ancestral North Indians. Almost every South Asian today is the result of further mixtures between the Ancestral North Indians and the Ancestral South Indians. Language shift occurred in the North and Dravidian was largely replaced by Indo-Aryan as shown by the large yellow area in this map. This graph shows results from the 2018 study. The red bars represent the DNA ancestry from the Indus Valley civilization. As can be seen, between 55 to 60 percent of the DNA of both North and South Indians originates from the Indus Valley civilization. Even the Kalash people of Pakistan, who have the most Aryan ancestry of all South Asians, are still only 30 percent Aryan in origin. On the other side of the spectrum are the Irula tribe of Tamil Nadu. Over 50% of their DNA is from the Aboriginal hunter-gatherers. A subsequent study analyzing ancient DNA from both North and South India, including Rakigari in the Indus Valley civilization, confirmed these findings. The skeleton from Rakigari had no steps ancestry and was genetically closest to the Irula tribe. This confirms a migration south of Dravidian speakers to South India following the Aryan invasion.